Hello, hello. Looks like you're interested in learning what meiosis is. Well, welcome. We'll tell you what happens. However, before we begin, let's go over some basics. This is a cell. The purple dot is the nucleus. The yellow and blue scribbles inside the purple dot are chromatin. Surrounding the nucleus is the cell membrane. The orange and yellow thing that we will see in a bit is a centrosome. And this is the Mona Lisa. The first stage of meiosis is prophase 1, where the chromatin within the nucleus begins to condense and eventually form chromosome. Crossing over between non-sister chromatids may occur. The cell then enters prometaphase, where the nuclear envelope breaks down. Now the cell can move on to metaphase 1, where homologous pairs line up on the equatorial plate of the cell. Here, independent assortment leads to genetic diversity through the random arrangement of pairs lined up. Anaphase 1 occurs. The centrosomes pull a random homologous chromosome to its respective side. Then telophase 1 happens where, when the nuclear envelopes develop on each side of the cell with its respective DNA. The cell divides. Cytokinesis is the division of the cell membrane. <laughs> Meiosis 2 goes through the same stages as meiosis 1, so we start with the chromosomes we left off with. This time, no replication of DNA occurs in these two daughter cells. Prophase 2 initiates where the centrosomes replicate and the nuclear envelope breaks down. During metaphase 2, the chromosomes line up once again on the equatorial plate. And in phase 2 then allows the microtubules from the centrosomes, which contain two centrioles, to pull apart each chromosome into single chromatids. Once each chromatid reaches its respective pole, telophase 2 can occur, where the nuclear envelope takes shape once again. Microfilaments assist the cell membrane in pinching off during cytokinesis. Now we finally have four genetically different daughter cells. And that, students and Mrs. Sagal, is the process of meiosis.